Hello friends, sir. welcome back to my channel. Today I will discuss about trick transfer scheme for one main bus and one transfer bus system. So in this video, a single line diagram has been shown where one main bus and one transfer bus is connected for a substation and there is a two feeder. I have not shown the incomer. So this is the feeder bay, this is the feeder two bay and this is the TBC that is the transfer bus coupler bay. So what is the function of the TBC? By this bay main bus is coupled with that of the transfer bus by closing this isolator, this isolator and TBC breaker. So in this video I will discuss about what is the trip transfer scheme, how the trip is transferred to the transfer bus coupler breaker. In case of trip transfer scheme, so TTS switch that is the trip transfer switch is connected in each feeder panel or transfer panel. So TTS switch play important role for trip transfer scheme. So in TTS switch there is normal inter transfer position. So any feeder or transformer bay can be diverted to the TBC breaker through this TTS switch. So how the diversion can be done for any feeder bay to the TBC breaker I will discuss in this video and how the trip is transferred to the TBC breaker. So this is the incomer circuit it may be a transformer side that is the LB side of the any transformer or it may be a any feeder circuit. So through this incomer main bus is taking the power. So 89A is the bus side isolator, 89L is the line side isolator and 89T is the transfer bus side isolator since it is connected towards the transfer bus. This is the transfer bus. So this is same for the feeder 2 and this is the TBC bay. That is the transfer bus coupler bay. So 89A and 89T is the main bus side isolator and 89T is the transfer bus side isolator for TBC bay. Why it is called TBC bay or transfer bus coupler bay? Because it is coupled main bus with that of the transfer bus by closing these two isolator and this breaker. Okay. So now consider that uh, feeder one is taking power from main bus and feeder two also taking power from main bus via 89A, 89L closing condition and this breaker is in close. Now due to so in, in online condition this bay need to be diverted to this breaker. So there may be any problem arise in this bay problem arise either 89A or 89L within this location or this breaker is need to be shut down for maintenance purpose. So as the problem arise in this bay so during online condition this feeder one is need to be diverted to the TBC bay. So in this feeder one there exists a panel CRP panel. So in the CRP panel there exists a trip transfer switch. So first we have to move this trip transfer switch in inter position. So after making this switch in inter position then switch in the switch here we have to close. 89A, 89T and 89T of this isolator of this feeder 1 bay. So after this, this breaker is need to be closed until or unless the TTS switch of this feeder 1 is make into interposition we cannot close the TBC breaker. So after the TBC breaker is closed the main bus and transfer bus is coupled by this TBC bay. Now 89T is closed so this two bay will be in parallel condition. Now we can up the switch of this breaker and power will be diverted via TBC bay towards the main bus. Now this feeder one will get power through the main bus through the TBC that is the transfer bus and via this isolator power will be go to the feeder one uninterruptedly. Now the TTS switch position can be moved to the transfer position. So if any fault arise in this feeder the relay 
will sense this fault and it will transfer the trip through the TBC breaker. So now let us discuss about the closing of the TBC breaker. So in this diagram, the remote close operation circuit from the TBC, there is a transfer bus coupler breaker has been shown. So 96 is the uh, relay that is the master trip relay for the bus bar protection or LB protection relay. So this relay will operate under two conditions if bus bar operated or LBB operated. And 86 is the master trip relay of this the TBC panel. Now this DC comes from the TBC panel. So there is a bus wire. So this bus wire comes to the feeder panel. So this is the circuit wiring for the feeder panel. In each circuit wiring for the feeder panel, this wiring is done in parallel condition. So this is the feeder one, this is feeder two, or there may be a transformer bay panel. So in each feeder one or feeder circuit, there exists 186 contact and NIT switch intertransfer contact. So if the feeder panel NIT switch that is the trip transfer switch will be in inter or transfer condition then this DC will be through through the 86 NC contact and NIT switch inter and transfer position okay. So we can close the TBC breaker if any of the feeder circuit panel there is a CRP panel in IT switch will be either in inter position or in transfer position. Okay. So this is the for the circuit for the closing condition of the TBC breaker. So here the TBC tripping has been shown. That is how the trip is transferred from the feeder one panel to the TBC breaker. So K101T, there is the positive DC of the TC1 is coming from the TBC panel. So 21 is the main relay, there is a distance relay of the feeder one panel. So if fault occur in the feeder one, the 21 or distance relay will detect this fault and it will send the trip signal of the, of the master trip relay of its own panel. So via this 21 relay contact and 86 relay contact, the uh, positive DC will be through and it will transfer to the TBC panel via NIT switch contact inter and transfer position. So if the NIT switch position will remain in either inter or transfer position, this trip will be transferred to the TBC breaker and transfer bus breaker will be trip. So this is the TC1 for the TBC breaker. Similarly, there exists trip circuit 2 for the TBC breaker. Now here, uh, the auto reclose circuit has been shown for TBC breaker. So if it is a 22 kV, 220, uh, 200 uh, kV or above voltage system, then single pole tripping is allowed. So if single phase to earth fault occur in feeder one, the distance relay will send it single pole tripping that is the TC1 of that phase only that is if fault occurring only R phase then TBC breaker R phase will be open from the distance relay through NIT switch in transfer position. So in case of the auto reclose this NIT switch must be in transfer position. So after the fault is clear the date time will be start then the 21 there is a distance relay of the feeder one will will give a auto reclose signal so this auto reclose signal will go through the tbc breaker via nit switch transfer position contact so it will go to the tbc breaker and the tbc breaker will auto reclose and if fault is cleared then the tbc successful auto reclose will be done and the uh, circuit will be in healthy condition. So this is how the trip is transferred to the TBC breaker. So friends, if you like my video, then you can go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future.
Thank you for watching this video.